see him. All right. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was easy to convince. That's good. No, but it will be enjoyable. Good relief from the past two days. Absolutely. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Greg. Well, Thursday night, WWT6 News cameras watched Omaha police bust some teens for underage drinking. Now they're showing us how they're trying to get ahead of that crime. Yet three teams of the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, the Nebraska State Patrol, and Omaha police were out in force checking if businesses were conducting proper alcohol sales. Chase Moffitt has the story. Yep. It's a bar. A Friday night on the hunt, sending in a minor to attempt to purchase alcohol. For now, we start near 42nd and Grover. Is that Getty? Sure. You're able to tell me which place you get the beer from, too. Do I have to go to Altamira? Nope. No. Nothing here, but Nebraska State Patrol investigators Smoot and Jaworski quickly move on to the next stop. We can't show you this criminal informant, but this isn't her first time out on compliance checks. We never want to trick or entice anybody to a sale. We just want to make sure the businesses are doing their job and confirming age before they make a sale. Sergeant Robert Elliott with the Nebraska State Patrol heads up this task force tonight of three teams from the State Patrol, the Omaha Police Department, and the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. He explains instead of focusing on the punishment side of failing to properly check for IDs, it's an opportunity for additional training for clerks and servers. That even tonight we'll have businesses that check ID, look at the ID, and make a sale anyway, even though the minor is presenting their own ID, which is printed vertically when an adult is printed horizontally. What do you got? Um, white female. Um, she has brown hair. She checked it. She checked it. Like she checked it at first. And then she gave it back to me, and then she's like, oh, why is that like that? She's getting rage anywhere from as small as five or ten people, we've had parties of over a hundred. Sergeant Jason Manning with the Omaha Police Department explains officers recently have responded to a number of recent MIP parties in the area. And once officers are on scene, they too focus on education about the spiral of poor decisions that are often associated with underage drinking. Still, the question comes down to where did it all come from? You know, did they buy it? Did they have older brother, sister? It was it supplied at the party, so we're going looking for that source. Where did ultimately they get the alcohol? Back out on the streets, the battle to stop minors getting their hands on alcohol in the first place. I think it's important. It, it, it really does curb the problem quite a bit. Check your ID? Yeah, check it. White female, blonde hair. Chase tells us over the last two nights they were trying to get to 150 businesses. Sergeant Elliott did point out to make these compliance checks as fair as possible.